Loki season one went through most of the ups and downs that most of Marvel Studios projects went through when they started working on the TV series and the films at the same time. But shockingly, Loki made it out 100% fine. So let's talk about major rewrites that were done literally after they locked in what they wanted the first season to be. So what we found out recently is that Loki season one, when it was written by Michael Waldron, who was also working back to back on Doctor Strange 2 and had a hand in pitching what was going to be going on with the bigger multiverse thing and trying to connect Wanda and Spider-Man No Way Home, the Loki season one was very different. We, of course, all saw this in the early concept art and what they were saying, and that ended up not playing at all into season one. Well, what we recently learned is pretty insane, and this comes at us from the person that worked on changing many elements of what was going on. And what was revealed is that when we saw all that concept art and everything, plans were already changing. Michael Waldron was brought on to do work on Doctor Strange, so some of what he worked on in Season 1 was kept intact. But they want to go in a different direction because of changing timelines in terms of release shuffling projects around and the concepts behind season one and especially them locking in who he who remains was gonna be so he reveals that most of season one was then flipped upside down and rewritten on the spot close to the production starting and that it was pretty hectic but they managed to get it all out there. And from what we understand, plans were constantly changing and there was a lot of going back and forth and changing elements of ideas and bouncing off of one another and seeing what the others were doing and trying to account for that. And that some projects allegedly suffered a little bit more. I think it's pretty safe to say Ant-Man and the Wasp 3, or as we came to know it, Quantumania was the one most affected by it because um, we saw what happened with Quantumania. That film was not supposed to be what it was. It wasn't even supposed to be a Kang film initially. Ant-Man 3 changed directions at the whim of, of, well, we got Kang now and we got to speed this up. And it's honestly a miracle that Doctor Strange 2 and Loki Season 1 and 2 end up being as good as they are considering, I mean, everything we've learned about the crazy production and, I guess, regime shifts in the middle of both projects. Because remember, Doctor Strange 2 had to be rewritten literally as they were set to start, but the pandemic started and they rewrote it during the course of shutdowns. Just absolutely insane. 